TLE 6, Home Economics. Unit 2, Sewing of Household Linens. Lesson 4, Tools and Materials in Sewing. to look for the sewing tools you need when the sewing tools are well placed in a clean well organized sewing box. With the right needle, the appropriate thread, and the needed fasteners or buttons, one can save time and energy. Having the complete basis on hand, tools greatly contribute in making garment construction easier, faster, more efficient, and enjoyable. Measuring tools. Tape measure. Is a measuring tool used for taking body measurements to produce well-fitting clothes and pants. This is usually made of cloth or plastic. Two. Ruler. Is a measuring tool used to measure and draft lines on a fabric or pattern. Metal gauge is a movable marker that measures short distances and correct thickness such as distance between buttons, pleats, and hems. Four, hem gauge is a measuring tool used to measure the correct hem for a piece of clothing or linen. French curve is a measuring tool used in drafting curves in the pattern of the arm, neckline, and crotch. Six meter or yardstick. This is used to measure fabric. Seven. Taylor's square is used for drawing straight lines and true right angles. Eight. Curve stick is used to have curved lines on necklines and armholes. Cutting tools. One. Embroidery scissors are small scissors designed for needlework. Two, dressmaking shears is used for cutting heavy fabric. It has uneven shapes of handles. shears are scissors with serrated blades or zigzag edges similar to saw used for cutting the fabric edge and prevent it from fraying or raveling Four, light trimmer is used for cutting small corners or portions of the fabric this tool has one point blunt to prevent the fabric from snagging. Five, bent handled shears. Shears with straight blades and a handle that is offset at an angle to allow the lower blade to stay flat in a cutting surface.
6. Sewing Scissors is a cutting tool used for trimming seams and facings. Seven. Thread clippers is a small cutting tool used for snipping thread. Eight. Seam ripper is a cutting tool used to open seams as well as other detailed work. Nine. Stitch Ripper is a small tool made of metal used to remove stitches. 10. Marking Tools Tracing Wheel is a marking tool with sawtooth blade used to transfer the marks from the pattern paper to the cloth. 2. Taylor's Chalk This is an orange-colored hard square wax used for marking guidelines or sewing lines in fabric. 3. Tracing Paper This is used with the tracing wheel to transfer marks from the pattern paper to the cloth. 4. Soft Pencil This is used in drawing lines in pattern construction. 5. Sewing Tools 1. Needle Is a sewing tool that has one sharp end and a hole at the other end to make the thread pass through. They come in different sizes and are used in sewing to pass the thread through the cloth either by hand or machine. Sharps, regular point needles. Longest with round eyes for general sewing. These are general all-purpose needles used for hand sewing. They have a round eye with a medium length. You will be using these needles in your dress making, to make bullion knots or French knots in counted work, smocking. Applique is another use. Two, crewels or embroidery needles. Next in length with slender eyes for darning and embroidery. They have long narrow eyes with a very sharp point. They are of medium length. This is usually what we use as normal embroidery needles. They come in sizes 110. Needle with the number 68 are the most commonly used needles. For lightweight fabric with two strands of thread number 7 needle is used. shortest needles with round eyes for fine sewing in tailoring or dressmaking. These are needles used for hand quilting, and fine needlework such as shadow work embroidery. They have sharp points, round eye, and a short length. Four, Tapestry Needles these needles have a blunt point and a large eye, oval eye, elongated eye for easy threading, and blunt point glide smoothly through the holes in your fabric, without splitting the threads. Sizes range from 13 to 28. It is especially used for needle point, counted cross stitch and counted thread embroidery. This is the best needle to use for counted cross stitch on a fabric.
Tapestry needles have different sizes. Smaller the number the larger the needle size. A number 24 needle is generally used for this embroidery. A simple guideline is to use a size 24 tapestry needle for 11-14 count fabrics, size 24 or 26 tapestry needle for 18 count fabrics, size 26 or 28 tapestry needle for 22 count and higher count fabrics. If bigger needles are used for finer fabrics the holes will be big and make your embroidery look bad. Beading needles. These are the needles used to string beads in bead embroidery. The small beads need a needle with a very small eye, so normal needles are usually out of question. Usually beading needles are very thin and long with tiny eye otherwise small beads would not pass through. You need long needles to string many beads. Chenille needles. This needle have large eyes and very sharp points. The eyes are large enough to accommodate ribbon and other thick yarn. Sizes 13 to 24 are generally used. Size 20 minus 22 needles are used for 4 to 9 mm silk ribbons. You have to ensure that the ribbon is not being crushed when passing through the eye of the needle. Seven. Darning needles. These needles have very large eye and are suitable for threading bulky yarn and wide ribbons. The tip of the needle is slightly curved, making it easier to pick up stitches. These long sturdy needles have very sharp points. These needles are suited for darning and doll making. Eight. Quilting needles. These needles have long shanks and can easily penetrate through your quilt layers. They are quite short with small, round eyes. They make even small stitches needed for quilting and hemming. Nine. Felting needles. These are L-shaped sharp needles meant for repeatedly jabbing on felt wool. Ten. Canvas needles. These thick blunt needles are suited for use on plastic canvas. You can use these needles to join knitted fabric pieces as well. Bodkins. These are long thick and blunt needle, sometimes with sharp point, with a large eye. They are used for threading elastic, ribbons, and cords through casings. Twelve. Curved needles. These needles are also called upholstery needles. This curved needles are used to repair and mend usually upholstery weight fabric and gives almost invisible blind stitches. It is also helpful in reaching for seam which is impossible to reach with normal needles. 13. Leather needles. These are needles, lovers, 
with a sharp tip shaped like a triangle for cutting into thick leather. Leather needles with longer triangular point at the end are called sail makers needles. These needles are ideal for thicker leather. Check out this post on tips on sewing leather. Fourteen. Milliner's needles. These are long sharp needles traditionally used in millinery trade. Nowadays they are used for making decorative stitches. This is the best needle to make long bullion knots which are used to embroider flowers. 15. Self-threading needle. These are needles with a special groove in the eye, so that you can easily thread the needle. No more need of squinting or using any of the tricks for threading the hand needles. 16. Long darners. Long thick needles suitable for mending holes in heavy fabrics. 17. Cotton darners, fine points. Used for darning, suitable for delicate yarns such as cotton and silk. 18. Ballpoint needles, round point. Used between knit yarn fibers. 19. Straws. Longer needles than betweens, used for tacking. 2. Pins. Tiny sewing tools with a sharp pointed tip used for a variety of purposes such as holding pattern pieces in place, fit fabric or garment on the body. Hold fabric together and secure lace, sequins or beads. 8. Dressmaker's pins. 1 and 1 sixth inches long, used in all sorts of garment sewing. 8. headed pins. Pins with colored ball-shaped heads, used for marking or decorating crafts. 9. Safety pins. Available in different sizes, these pins come with a safe cover for the pointed part to prevent it from jabbing the skin. 10 cushion. It is used to keep needles and pins in place when not in use. 10. Emery bag. Is similar to a pin cushion but with rougher content such as finely ground broken plate or very fine dried sand to sharpen the tips of pins and needles and to prevent them from getting rust. used for stitching cloth either by hand or machine and comes in different colors and thickness. It can also be used for surface decoration. Thread can be made of cotton, nylon, or silk. Sizes may range from 40, heavy sewing, thicker thread, to 100, finer thread for sheer materials such as silk or organza. Number 50 is commonly used for hand sewing. 
Threads are sold in skeins, embroidery, cones, spools, and balls. Needle Threader Aids in inserting the thread into the eye of the needle. Thimble A small, durable, protective cap made of metal or plastic, used to protect the finger from being pricked when pushing the needle through the cloth. Let's explain. How can a person's knowledge and skills in using the sewing tools help in garment construction? Let's remember, tools greatly contribute in making garment construction easier, faster, more efficient, and enjoyable. Reinforcement Identify five tools and give their functions.